Welcome to Stew Basement Tapes. I'm Mike Sanderson. I'm Lily Boisson. We're here at James Dunn for a coffee break. Our top stories this week are... What's the deal with NB Power? We found out about a controversial deal with Quebec Hydro. A clever new way to include local food in our diets. And one of our own shoots, but will she score? Hey Lily, do you know your blood type? Well, I think it might be B positive. You think? Well, you should be positive. Because the Canadian Blood Services Clinic were on campus this week, and two of our reporters literally put their blood on the line for this story. Warning, this story isn't for the faint of heart. Blood. It's an essential part of how our bodies function. But unfortunately, there is a shortage of blood supplies for those who need it. The Canadian Blood Services collects over 850,000 units of blood annually from donors. But before someone can donate any of their blood, they must know their type. The What's Your Type event was here at STU to raise awareness of the upcoming blood drive happening next week. The event allows students to find out their blood type. We thought it would be a good idea to find out ourselves. To have your blood typed, you had to fill in a short form with your information. I am filling out the what's your type form, which looks like this. And basically, I am here to find out what type of blood that I do have. Once that was done, we sat at the table and the volunteer would draw blood for us by a small prick of the finger. Okay. They knit little finger Aww. puppets. It's priceless. I remember those when they're, I was little. They're just fantastic. Well, oh, geez, I'm a good bleeder. Oh, you eh? really are a good bleeder. Look at you. Crazy. Yours didn't bleed that much. Once the blood was drawn, we had to wait a few minutes for the results. Oh, you are my first V. Really? Yes, for the whole day. Really? See, the person before you was O, they didn't react with either. Okay. They were an O positive. Really? Look at that. You are B. B. B negative. Yay. Yay. Second most rarest right here. Yeah, so right away, this one, see how that beaded up? That means that there's A in your blood. And A positive. Third year student Cameron McLean was also on hand to find out his type. I'm A positive. All right, why did you decide to do this? I decided to do it just because it's valuable information to know, and just that way I can donate blood in the future and help raise awareness and, you know, just do my part, I guess. Knowing your blood type can not only be valuable for you to know, but it is essential to know if you're going to donate. Some types of blood are more needed than others because of the rarity of the types. Some types are extremely popular and some are not. Canadian Blood Services volunteer Anita Legere explains. 39% uh, of the Canadian population has O positive blood. That means they have the RH factor in their blood. That's the most popular. Least popular is what we call AB negative. And only half a percent or 0.5% of the population has AB negative. So it's, uh, it's really quite different from 39% down to 0.5%. Now we also have the universal donor, which as I mentioned is O negative, And only about 7% have O negative blood. So it's very important that they come in and donate because their blood can be used for everybody. Now we know our types. We're ready to donate. After all, this is what this whole thing is about. It's a, it's a positive experience to know that you potentially help somebody. For sure. Okay. So we got our blood tested today. I'm B negative. And now that we have this information, we can come here to the JB O'Keefe Centre next Monday where the Canadian Blood Services will be accepting donations. First, two, two, no, this, one. this is Adam Wright. And this is Brittany Duthright. And please remember, it's in you to give. Lots of our drinks come in plastic bottles like these. For some, it's a convenience, but for others, it's a big problem. Several student groups are backing an initiative to stop the sale of bottled water on campus. Grabbing a bottle of water from the calf or vending machine is convenient. 
the Coalition for Bottled Water-Free Campuses, believes that for cost and harm to the environment, buying a bottle just isn't worth it. Uh, both Aquafina and Dasani bottled water is actually uh, sourced from municipal tap water in various cities, so you're just sort of getting the city of Mississauga's tap water rather than the city of Fredericton's tap water. Um, they filter it slightly, but you can filter tap water also and it doesn't cost $2 a bottle. For them, a gradual switch to fountain water means slowly fighting climate change. But the group has to deal with opposition calling them just an eco-fad before they can pass a student referendum. And this is something that we see on a daily basis and it's really tangible and it's really accessible. It's really easy for us to do um, because it's, uh, it's something that we know has been done before. Healthy choices are harder to make on a university budget, but would students rather eat grease or greens? Vanessa Trindade tells us how healthy choices are beneficial to both body and mind. For some students, bacon is a routine breakfast food, but the Canadian Food Guide suggests a healthier way to start the day. A recent study shows that many of us aren't eating the recommended servings of the four food groups. The Food Guide advises Canadians to consume two servings of dairy products and seven to ten servings of vegetables and fruit a day. At UNB, some students are watching what they eat, while others are not taking their diet seriously. A Joy Kid resident feels that most students are too lazy to make a conscious effort to eat healthy. You walk by, if people don't know what they want to eat, you see pizza and that's what you take. Because, like, people don't want to make a sandwich, they don't want to take the time to make the salad, but the pizza's right there, you can just grab it and you're good to go. With the flu season approaching, it becomes more important to be aware of what we're putting into our bodies. Students should not only be following the Canadian Food Guide, but also listening to the advice of healthcare professionals. Through following the Canada's Food Guide, you should focus on your four food groups and uh, ensuring that you're getting lots of fruits and vegetables. Anything that is a citrus fruit generally has lots of antioxidants. Anything that is a green leafy vegetable also has lots of antioxidants and fiber. While some students are worried about the freshman 15, all students should be more aware of what they're putting into their mouths. Eating well is key to a healthy body and a strong immune system. For Stu Journalism, I'm Vanessa Trindade. H1N1 immunization clinics opened in New Brunswick last week. However, the province has yet to receive enough of the vaccine to meet the demand. So far, a dozen clinics have been cancelled, with more cancellations expected. Stronger restrictions have also been placed to ensure that only the highest priority groups are being vaccinated. Although enough vaccine has been ordered for the province, production hasn't been able to keep up with demand. Health officials are hoping to receive a new shipment of the vaccine by the end of the week. Stay tuned to Basement Tapes. Coming up after the break, we have a story on the 100-mile dinner.